I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas Light Guy, version 2.5, AI generated. In this tutorial, I will show you how to build a high-density mini tree using seed or pebble lights and how to set up in X lights with a working demo. Let's get started. First, I'll start with some background information. While I was attending the Florida Mega Mini event, I went into the vendor hall and saw a small two and a half foot mini tree built using a 3D printed topper, base, and star with seed lights from Pixel Paradise. I thought, wow, this is a cool idea and I think we will start seeing seed lights being incorporated into more props and displays. I actually purchased a complete set of 3D parts at that time. When I returned home, I downloaded Pixel Paradise's instructions on how to build a mini tree that stores flat. After reading the instructions, I decided to try incorporate the 3D printed topper, base, and star into a more rigid or non-collapsing mini tree by using steel circular tomato cages. After several failed attempts and designs, I went back to the instructions and decided to give Pixel Paradise's design a shot. Since I only had one set of the 3D printed topper, base, and star, I needed to order at least one more set. So I ordered two more sets. When my 3D printed parts arrived, I opened the box to find four of the toppers. Two of the original toppers and two slightly different toppers with a note saying, check out the new and improved design on the toppers. So I got started building my high density mini trees. I'm very happy with how my high density mini trees turned out and I want to share with you some things I learned during this build process. The first question some of you may want to know is, what do I consider to be a high density mini tree? Each of my mini trees is 32 strands with 28 pixels per strand for a total of 896 pixels. And if you add 50 more pixels for the star, you have a total of 946 pixels. That's what I call high density. Let's get started with the parts you will need to build a high density mini tree. I will put the complete parts list in the description below. First, the 3D printed parts from Pixel Paradise. You will need a baby goat topper, baby goat base, 32 universal seed pixel clips, and a seed pixel star, which is optional. Next, the mini tree infrastructure parts. You will need a 1 half inch EMT pipe 5 feet long a piece of rebar 3 8 inch diameter about 3 to 4 feet long, a steel wreath ring 18 to 20 inches in diameter, 4 to 8 steel tent stakes 10 inches long, a hose clamp that will fit around the 1 half inch EMT pipe, 4 and 1 half foot piece of 3 conductor wire to connect the optional star to the last strand of seed pixels. You will also need some cable ties, a minimum of 32 4 inch cable ties to attach the seed pixels, and two 6-inch cable ties to attach the optional star to the EMT pipe. Next, the mini tree LED light parts. You will need 896 seed pixels or 946 seed pixels if you plan on using the optional star. The seed pixels should have 50 millimeter spacing between each pixel. You will also need two or more pigtail connectors of your choice and two or more power injection connectors of your choice. My first suggestion is to add a pigtail connector of your choice to the end of your seed pixels. Make sure to identify the positive, the negative, and data on your seed pixels. Some of the seed pixels are marked with gold or silver wire or with dots on the wire to indicate positive or negative. Check with your seed pixel vendor for proper wiring. I would highly recommend testing your seed pixels to make sure you have them properly wired, the correct voltage, and the correct end or direction. One of my spools of seed pixels were wound backwards. What I thought was the beginning of the string was actually the end, so always double check your seed's pixel wiring. Once you have verified your seed pixels are wired properly and work correctly, next you can start to build the mini tree. As I said before, my mini tree is 32 vertical strands of 28 seed pixels for a total of 896 pixels. I split my pixels over two ports or two strands. The first strand has 448 pixels. The second strand has 448 pixels plus 50 pixels for the star for a total of 498 pixels. Each of the two strands have power injection connectors at the end of the 448th pixel. These are the two pin red and black waterproof connectors seen in the pictures. The next step is making the pixel seed strands for your mini tree. 
You may want to split your trees into more than two strands, but I didn't think it was necessary. You could split your pixels into four strands of 224 pixels each. Whether you use two strands or four strands, I would recommend you mark your strands every 28th pixels. I used a piece of black electrical tape to mark the 28th pixel. This will make it easier to keep count of the pixels when you are attaching the pixels to the topper and to the wreath ring. Several times while wiring my mini trees, I realized I was off by one pixel and would have to redo them. Hopefully marking your strands will help. Next, start by attaching the universal seed pixel clips to the wreath ring. Attach four sets using four inch cable ties, 90 degrees from each other creating four segments. Then attach three sets evenly spaced between each segment for a total of 16 sets of clips. A total of 32 universal seed pixel clips are used per mini tree. Next, take the baby goat base and the 5 foot, 1 half inch EMT pipe, stick the pipe end into the base. On the other end of the EMT pipe, tighten a hose clamp about 6 inches from the top, then slide on the Pixel Paradise baby goat topper. The baby goat topper has a hole for a mounting screw, but I find a hose clamp works better and is easier to move up and down while building your mini tree. You may want to assemble your mini trees outside using a 3 to 4 foot piece of rebar driven straight into the ground. Then slide the EMT pipe over the rebar to hold it up while wiring. This is also the way to mount the mini trees for your show. For more details on mounting, see the Pixel Paradise instructions. I'm building my mini tree inside for this video. My base is mounted to a piece of plywood instead of being mounted into the ground. Now you have the base, EMT pipe and topper assembled. Place the wreath base over the EMT pipe and onto the ground. Insert the first seed from your beginning strand into the second universal seed pixel clip of a pair on the wreath base in a clockwise direction. Next stretch out your strand to the 28 pixel. If you marked your pixels using tape, this will make it easier to wire. Adjust the pixels so they are all facing the same direction as much as possible. Slide the wire into the topper wire cutout and turn to lock into place. Loop the wire and place wire into topper wire cutout going in the opposite direction. Continue this method between the base and topper until the end of your strand. Now that you have completely wired your high density mini tree, it is time to set up and test using X lights. I have opened up X lights and I'm on the layout tab. Let's look at the model layout of the mini tree first, then the star. Here are a few important settings on the mini tree. The type is set to round. The degrees is set to 360. The bottom to top ratio is set to 10. The perspective is set to 2. The strand direction is set to vertical. Since I used two strands of 448 pixels, the number of strings is set to 2, and the number of nodes per string is set to 448, and the strands per string is set to 16. If you used four strands of 224 pixels, you would set the number of strings to 4 and the number of nodes per string to 224 and the strands per string to 8. The final setting is the starting location is set to bottom right. Next let's look at the model layout for the optional Pixel Paradise Seed Pixel Star. Here are a few important settings on the star. The number of nodes per string is set to 50. The number of points is set to 5. The starting location is set to top center, counterclockwise. The layers is set to 2. Expand the layers to set each layer value. The inside layer is set to 20. The outside layer is set to 30. Now that we have looked at the mini tree model and star model layout, let's move over to the sequencer tab in X Lights and see a working demo. In order to save time, I have already created a 40 second demo sequence with a few example effects. First, I will expand the sequence some so it is easier to see. Let me do that. Next, I will turn on my video so you can see the working mini tree and star as I play the sequence. Give me a second to do that. Okay, my video has started. I will enable the output, then I will start the sequence. The first effect uses the bars effect moving in a downward direction. The second effect uses the bars effect moving in an upward direction. The next effect uses the fan effect. The next effect uses the shockwave effect. The next effect uses the bars effect. 
This reminds me of a ride at a fair with colorful lights. The next effect uses the twinkle effect. This is one of my favorites. The next effect uses the garland effect to fill the tree. The next effects uses the curtain effect with different options to fill the tree. The last effect uses the pinwheel effect. I hope you enjoyed the demo. As you can see, my high density mini tree turned out to be a very nice prop and I know it will be a great addition to this year's display. The 3D printed parts I used included a baby goat topper, baby goat base, 32 universal seed pixel clips, and a seed pixel star from Pixel Paradise. These parts really make building the seed mini tree quite easy. The new version of the baby goat topper worked better to hold the seed pixel wires in place versus the older baby goat topper version. I really enjoyed building my high density mini trees and I learned a couple of things along the way that I shared as tips during this video. Here is a recap of those tips. First tip is to test your seed lights to make sure you have them properly wired, the correct voltage, and the correct end or direction. Second tip is mark your seed lights every 28th pixel using tape to make wiring and building much faster. I have a couple of other comments about building my high density mini trees. Untwisting and untangling the seed pixels was the most time-consuming part of this project by far. I need to figure out a better way to stretch out the seed pixels to untwist and untangle. Also, my tree is a bit tall and narrow. A larger base would help that. Maybe on the next build I will use a larger base. Instead of an 18-inch wreath ring, I will try to find a 24 or 36-inch wreath ring. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. The Christmas Light Guy Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All you have to do is press the subscribe button below. Thank you.